Sismo, I need you to fall back and believe that I am going to catch you. Let's go, let's go. Hi boys and girls, welcome to today's lesson. We are still learning about faith, that it is impossible to please God when you don't have faith. Sesmo, I need you to fall back and believe and trust that I am going to catch you. Let's go, let's go. One, two. You see, Sesmo is still hesitant on whether to believe me or not. And when we do that, when we don't believe in God, we are not pleasing him. So we should what? We should trust him and believe him. Trust Sesmo. Let's go, let's go. Believe I am going to catch you. Three, two, one, go. You see, boys and girls, when we have total faith, even when we are not seeing that we are going to be caught by God, that he has us, that he hears our prayers, and that we are pleasing him when we have total faith in God. I have two materials in my hand. This bottle is made of heavy plastic and then this bottle is made of hmm, thin plastic. But also this one has water. 
this one has nothing. So let's see what will happen if I decide to be adventurous and squash. Oh. The bottle is still the same. But if I decide to squash this one, oops, it's squashed, it has no life, it's broken. But what happened to this one? This one, I tried to squeeze it, squash it. Mm, nothing is happening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nothing happened to the bottle. Meaning that we all should be like this bottle. Having so much faith inside, having so much trust inside, that when we are faced with so much storms, that we are not crushed that we are remaining very faithful and believing and trusting that God will come through for me and you. So today's story is very interesting. We are going to dive in into the story of the disciples and Jesus. This is what happened. The disciples were sailing across the Sea of Galilee and Jesus went to the mountainside to pray. So as they were sailing, they were sailing, there were storms coming in, but they were still sailing. And then they saw someone walking on water and they wondered, who, who is that walking on water? And then when they got closer, they see Jesus walking on water. Wow, that is very adventurous. Can you imagine seeing someone walking on water? Wow, wow, wow. Only Jesus can do that. And then one of the disciples who was very adventurous, his name was Peter. He saw that and he said, Jesus, can I join you? Can I also walk on water and come join you? And Jesus told him, yes, come join me. Peter had so much faith in the beginning that he said to himself, hey, I believe that I can actually walk on water. So he got out of the boat and he started walking and he was walking on water but as soon as he started seeing the storms the winds blowing and blowing he became doubtful and then you know what happened next he was drowning down and Jesus was very disappointed because he started so well but then in the middle just right before he was close to Jesus he started doubting, he started seeing the storms and saying, oh no, I am going to fall. And that's what happened. He drowned and Jesus took him up. You see, boys and girls, we are supposed to be filled with so much faith, just like Peter had so much faith in the beginning. But this is what happens to us. We start off with big faith and then we start growing smaller when challenges come, when sickness comes, we start doubting. But we are not supposed to be doubting. We're supposed to start with big faith and end in so much big faith. And in this, God is calling you to be adventurous in your faith. That's it for the lesson. Let's go to the memory verse. Hi, boys and girls. It's so awesome to see you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the faith lesson. Today, we are going to learn the memory verse. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who honestly seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Yay! Well, it is now time for Money for Jesus. Boys and girls, you can ask your guardians, parents to help you send money for Jesus. Yay! Whoa, what a wonderful time of the memory verse that we have learned that it is impossible to please God if we don't have faith. Now, I want us to take away some few lessons from this lesson of the day. 
Our faith must be full of adventure, attempting great things for God, knowing that with Christ in our hearts, we can smile at the storm. We should remember that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. You see, boys and girls, in our lives, we know that storms are going to come, that bad things are going to happen, but we should not doubt the power of God because the power of God is so mighty. We should have faith, have adventurous faith, and believe that whatever it is that we seek, that God would give us, and that he is pleased when we live our lives in faith. Right? Okay, now let's pray as we end the lesson. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you so much for this wonderful lesson. I pray that the boys and girls will go ahead and live a life that they have so much faith, so much adventurous faith in their lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So don't forget to be adventurous in your faith and know that it is possible. Anything that you're hoping for and you're praying for, know that it is possible because God has the power to do it. So go out there and have adventurous faith. Bye. See you next week.